Hi there, my name's Tony Harmer. I'm a trainer and a creative suite expert, and you can find out more about me and what I do on my site, tonyharmer.co.uk. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some of the grid layout and other features that can help you work faster inside of InDesign. Here I'm using InDesign CS6, although any recent version of InDesign should be fine. So I'm going to switch across now to an earlier version of this document, which is a layout for a digital publication. And just to make it easier, I'm going to hide a few of the things you don't need to see at the moment. So I'm just going to hide pretty much everything apart from the flags layer. I've got everything set out ready for my flags like so. And then I'm going to place the flag graphic. So I'm going to go File and Place. I'm then going to select all of the graphics just there and bring those all in. And then I'm going to start at making sure, of course, the active layer is ready for them. So let's start just off on the side there. Start dragging like so. I then want to use my arrow keys to go into grid drawing mode. So I'm going to use my right arrow once, twice, three times. You can see how that now gets me four columns. Then I'm going to use my up arrow once, twice, three times, how that gets me four rows. I can then use the proxy just here to get the flags to the right size. That's just about perfect. And I'll release the mouse button at that. And so they are, they're all placed nicely. Now I'm going to turn on some of the back layers now. So they need to go into these boxes. Okay, but of course at the moment uh, they're not spaced out properly. So I'm also going to turn on the background here so I can see the underlying grid. And I'm going to use the live distribute feature. To do this, I basically get hold of the bottom corner of the box, drag out like so. So I'm going to position that where I want the bottom right hand corner of the last flag to be just there. I then hold down my space bar and when I release the mouse button you can see there you are, the flags are distributed like so. And I can do that pretty much with any other way. So if I wanted to distribute from the side there, as I'm dragging I hold down the space bar and you can see then I can distribute them like so. So I'm just going to undo that back to where they were. I'll lock the flags layer. I can turn my text back on now. And then I'm going to hide everything apart from the stars layer. So I'm going to alt click on the visibility icon for that. And then I'm going to set up ready to start drawing. So now I'm going to select my polygon tool and I'm going to start drawing a polygon like so. Well, I want five points indeed, but I want a five pointed star. So from there, I need to go into drawing mode. So i am still got the mouse down. I hit my space bar, like so. And then I can use my right arrow key to increase the star inset there, like so. So my up and down arrow keys would change the number of points. My left and right arrow keys would modify the star inset. Once I've got the shape that I want, I'm going to hit the space bar again. And then I can use my right arrow key here to increase the number. I actually want five across there like so. I'm just going to hold down the shift key now to make sure they're all proportional. I'll release at that and there you are. My stars are ready to go. So I'm just going to alt click on the visibility icon again. And then with my selection tool, I'm just going to move those into their final position there like so. Okay. I'm just going to resize those slightly. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Command, just bring those in, just a little bit like that, that's perfect. And then just nudge them into position with the arrow key. But now I need to get some copies out across the rest of the document. So I'm going to change my view so I can see the whole document, Command-0, Control-0 of course if you're on the PC. And again I think I'll turn off some stuff that isn't helping me too much, so I'm just going to turn off the background just there. And now with my selection tool, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click and drag. I'm now going to release the Alt key. I'm still dragging. But what I'm going to do now is position the last copy where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use my right arrow key once and twice to get two columns. And then my up arrow key once, twice, three times to get all of the rows that I need from there. And then when I release the mouse button, 
That's it, they're all copied across. And that's it. Thanks for watching.